regreso aquí en Auto 060 y como les prometimos vamos a escuchar la entrevista que hicimos ya hace una semana, un casi 10 días con Fabricio Vaca, uno de los responsables de diseño de la Fiat que vino directamente de Italia para hacer la presentación del nuevo Fiat 580L eh, estuvimos en Baltimore, eh, Maryland donde llegan eh, precisamente los barcos eh, con los eh, Fiat 580L que son fabricados en, eh, en Estonia, no en Estonia no, en Eslovania, pero perdón eh, así que bueno, escuchamos la entrevista con Fabricio Vaca, eh, representante de diseño de Fiat desde Italia Hello, how are you Fabricio? Uh, I'm fine, thank you Fabricio Vaca, and uh, you're uh, one, yeah. the design uh, team for the new Fiat 500L, right? Yes, yes, that's right Beautiful right. car, I mean, look at that roof I mean, it looks like, thank you like your yeah. roof, it looks like uh, we're outside, almost uh, so it has a little screen and then yeah. you open up that whole sunroof oh it's on already i mean that, that's another that's one thing about this car we are that driving the new 500 l a new version of the car and um very quiet inside great design in that term you know in that sense so um, tell me about it it's a, a new product uh coming from the u.s from italy to the u.s yeah actually it's uh, it's an all new car that was designed both for yeah, u.s market and european market Uh, while the first 500 hatch it was designed in Italy and then imported in the yeah. USA like in some years later. This is the first project actually that Fiat developed for both markets. This car uh, in Europe, this car will be big, but for the States yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's it compact, it's, it's, so compact uh, that, category. That's true. That's true. It's kind of funny in that way, no? It is, it is but um, we still think that um, we try to give uh, a huge, a, 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 a big room for interior for yeah. Americans and a compact size for the exterior for Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, I think we we could find uh, the correct balance for absolutely. Car. And uh, so you're in charge of the of the interior design yeah. of the car. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that's a huge advantage from a, a, an Italian uh, company. Like there's always like that feeling of falling in love with anything Italian <laughs> in the States, especially these like food, uh, women, like the language actually, and they like, the, there's a lot of really good design here in the, in the interior of the car. For example, the wheel, right? It's very, yeah. very special. Yeah. The steering wheel is, is special, yeah. We, we started from the um, Fiat Panda concept, that is all yeah. squared off, and we wanted to like give it um, a comfortable like handling, so it's perfectly rounded and uh, it's instant art. But it's squared off in, in the internal part, so that you can see exactly what's, what side you are, you are steering, and it's, it's framing better the, the instrument cluster. And another thing, the choice of materials, I mean, this is not a very expensive car, but the feeling of the yeah. materials is very refined. Yeah, we've been working a lot on this, I mean, uh, Fiat is a very important, uh, it's very uh, based on its historical like uh, uh, values, so yeah. uh, uh, materials and colors are very important for, for us, like, uh, as, as much important as, as the shapes, so our color and film department is working so much to give all the best quality. Actually, this is uh, a completely new technology because we had the opportunity for the, for the it's the first model that that gives uh, two different kind of technologies for, okay. the, for the dashboard. The, this you mean the, the materials yeah. or what? Yeah, there is a, a red uh, version like this one, uh -huh. and there's also a body color version. Oh, okay. With, uh, like cheap percent. How big is the team that designs the car? Because you were saying it's designed for Europe or for other parts of the world too and the States. So you get a little bit of input from everywhere? Yeah, yeah, we get inputs from from both uh, brand department, Americans and Europeans. We've been working with, uh, with uh, designers from Chrysler that okay. helped us to, to have the feeling of how Americans expect cars to be. And we are, uh, for interior, we were like a team of five, six designers, yeah. and some more 3D models, and then uh, always two color and trim designers. While for exterior, yeah, also other 
free for uh, interior designers. Yeah, so you, you were telling me this is your first time in the States, huh? Yeah, it is. So how do you like it? How do you, how do you oh, I'm, I'm compare to, <laughs> to Italy? I've been there, so like, the highways are larger, the cars are larger, so it must be a little bit uh, yeah, yeah, strange. Yeah, it's strange, but still, I feel comfortable. I feel, I don't know, I, they, they're always talking about Italian hospitality, but I think that Americans as as good as Italian hospital, even well, though sometimes they only mean what a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not even. It's like three days, and no, I really feel good. People are awesome. They're friendly, and I really feel home here. That, that's great. Um, another thing I was talking about about the car. Um, yeah. It's a larger car. It has a 160 horsepower engine, yeah. uh, turbocharged, and it's really, really fast. I mean, like this car can yeah. really move. I mean, being a large car. Yeah, it does. It does. It, it was it was tricky because uh, you know Italians, uh, European cars. This there has to be a family that uh, a family car for Europe and a cool and trendy car for USA. Yeah. Because size is different. Because in Europe it's um, it is taking the place of, of uh, like family cars like Idea, Musa, and yeah. cars that are not in production anymore. So we wanted to give both, like the, the sporty and, and the cool side and, and the Italian soul to it, and also the functionality and the usability. So, so it is still a Cinquecento, but it has more. It has a lot of it. And that's the thing you were talking about, it has the Cinquecento image. It's I think you guys did a really good job in the design in the exterior too, because I was looking one in the rear mirror, and it really looks the same. It's yeah. just like a bigger size, but the car has its own DNA. I mean, it, it like, yeah, this, for example, Mini has come up with the original, and now the, the other, the Paceman, the Coupe. I mean, they're nice cars, but they look different. Yeah. That's and true. you have kept the, the image of the car very, very, very much. Yeah, yeah it, was, it wasn't easy, because, you know, Chibuchent is a very strong product, and when you have a very good product such as Chibuchent, it's always hard to to repeat the success yeah. and, and to give even something more. I think we did a good job both with brands and, and, and ergonomic and, and, and design department to, to develop this, this concept. I think you can still feel a little bit of Italy inside when, when you drive it. Like, oh, Oh, absolutely. yeah. That's what I was saying before. Yeah. It's a huge advantage because Italy has its sex appeal yeah. for, for Americans everywhere around the world. So, uh, our show here on Serious Action Radio is uh, bilingual in Spanish and in English. Okay. So, well, let's make it trilingual. Why can't you just tell a few phrases in Italian about the Cinquecento? Ciao a tutti, sono Fabrizio Vacca, designer italiano da Torino. E siamo dentro la 500L negli Stati Uniti. È la mia prima volta negli Stati Uniti. Eh, sto divertendo un sacco, spero che, <ride> spero che vi piaccia il, il design di questa vettura e che potrete goderlo fino in fondo. Mi piace molto, molto? Mi piace molto, Mi sì. Mi piace molto. Perfetto. Grazie Fabrizio. Grazie mille. Gentili. Pues ahí tienen un test drive, una clase de italiano a la misma vez y, y una experiencia fabulosa, mucha información sobre el nuevo Fiat 580L ahí directamente con uno de los responsables de diseño del auto, Fabricio Vaca, que ha venido de Turín eh, para presentarnos este auto acá en Baltimore, Maryland. Estuvimos allá la semana pasada y realmente un auto fabuloso. Les recomiendo que vayan a la página de YouTube, eh, Auto 060 en YouTube, para que vean eh, este y otros videos que hemos publicado aquí esta semana sobre... Eh, todos los autos de los que hemos hablado esta semana, el Nissan Versa 2014, el 580 eh, y todas las otras cosas de las cuales hemos conversado aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Eh, gracias a DJ Cafa como siempre ahí en los controles y los esperamos muy pronto en una edición más eh, de Auto 060. Vamos a estar eh, viajando eh, a Detroit para las presentaciones de Ford y Chrysler muy pronto sobre lo que traen para el año 2014. Nuevos modelos, nuevas tecnologías. Eh, muchas gracias por la atención, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.